Irony is part of the human condition and never more prevalent in the life and death of Washington, D.C. Metro Police Officer Gail Cobb. She graduated in the 34-member Police Academy class in April 1974 that included 13 female cadets, the largest then in the United States. Cobb was a single mother who'd struggled to find her professional niche. Her first assignment was on uniform foot patrol. Less than six months following her graduation, on September 20, 1974, she was working near an impending bank robbery. John Dorch and John Bryant were intending to rob the Eastern Liberty Federal Savings Location, disguised as construction workers. Two plainclothes officers had received a previous tip and halted the pair before they entered the bank. Both men were carrying sawed-off shotguns and handguns. The men scattered running in different directions. Cobb was issuing a traffic ticket nearby and responded to the call. She confronted Brian in a nearby parking garage as he was changing out of his disguise. She ordered him to place his hands on the wall but did not cuff him. He was still armed and when she called in for reinforcement, he wheeled around and shot her at close range. The bullet pierced her wrist and police radio, lodging in her heart, killing her instantly. She would become the first Metro female and black law enforcement officer nationally to be killed in the line of duty. She would be honored posthumously, but future repercussions would taint her family. Her son was raised by his grandparents, but his own character would suffer from his mother's absence. He would shoot to death an acquaintance in 1993 and is serving a life sentence. John Bryant was released from prison only to return for later drug violations. His partner would attempt to become a lawyer following his release. The West Virginia Supreme Court denied his request unanimously. Gail Cobb Way is located in D.C. at the corner of 14th Place Northeast and D Street Northeast near her murder site.